Yeah, boy. We're live. Team Lethal, Whipple Superchargers, Tech Tip Tuesdays. We didn't have any like videos filmed or any footage, unfortunately, uh, for today for you guys. So uh, I told Christy, you know, uh, screw it. Let me just fly out to Whipple. Small little flight. Yeah. Why not? Head out from Florida to uh, Fresno, Cali. Let's go live at Whipple Superchargers. BS, have a good time. Show you guys around uh, a little bit of the Whipple headquarters here. Um, so as you can see, I'm standing here with my boy, Dustin Whipple. What's up, guys? Hey, yo. We got their uh, 2018 Mustang GT, which rocks their uh, Gen 5 3 liter supercharger on it. Take a look over here. There it is. There's the Whipple sign right here. Good old Fresno, California. So this is their facility. And I'm with Dustin, and we're going to take you on a little tour here. Uh, where are we starting out? Where are we rolling through? What are we'll, we doing? We'll go through the engineering area first, I think. Engineering area. All right, we're about to step into the engineering area here at Whipple. All right, take a look at this. So this is where some, some magic happens over here. What's up, guys? We're live on Facebook. Hey, what's hey up? Hey, yo. How you doing? What's up, Lisa? We got Lisa in the house. All right, we got the whole crew. No, I got Lisa over here. This is Dimitri, and I'm sorry, your name again was? Romero. Romero. Yeah. You got it. That's it. All right, so these guys basically um, pretty much do, like, a lot of the uh, design work on the CAD for, what, like, manifolds and plenums? Yeah, manifolds, plenums. inlets, a lot of the brackets, the adapters, uh, all the, basically, the bombs that we make for all the... <laughs> for all the, the, yeah. bombs, the, the you know actual uh, building materials that we make for all the all the kits so they do all those components awesome all right so this is where pretty much the engineering side it goes on the computer they come up with the ideas they they build it um and then that's made into actual products which most of actually happens here now at the facility in fresno yep um when i first met dustin uh, many years ago in 2005 they were not uh, making their own supercharger rotors. They were they were done outside, and a lot of the components as well were you know uh, being made outside. Now it's done mostly here in Fresno. Real deal manufacturer supercharger. That's right. Real deal, as well as EcoBoost stuff too. Now, um, if you guys don't know, not only superchargers, but they've broken out to the EcoBoost market uh, with intercoolers, um, calibrations, and uh, cold air intakes. So all emissions legal. Emissions legal. That's yeah, right. That's yep. Right. 50 state legal. There you go. Let's move along here yep. and uh, take a look around. If there's anything you want to point out, you're more than welcome to. If there's something you don't want to do, <laughs> wave, wave, <laughs> wave at me not to show yeah, it. No, no, no. Yeah, not there. Yeah. <laughs> not there. No. Oh, what the hell is that? Uh, there definitely is some stuff that uh, we're going to keep uh, off camera here. Top secret Whipple stuff, you know. Uh, all right. Garrett, what's up, buddy? These guys are working away. So what what's, uh, what happens to here? So here's where we actually do all the inspections for uh, for parts. So we do rotors, bearing plates, anything that requires uh, high tolerance parts. And uh, So it's basically to yep. check everything. Rotors yep. are cut here yep. in-house yep. and then checked on the machines here, make sure everything's right, everything measures out properly, it's in balance and everything else. Exactly. And then we got our... That's our our machine detected anything's got any extra run out in it so we do all these checks in-house before we actually assemble or before we actually ship any parts to the customers awesome just another piece of the puzzle here that's right the rotor checking right that's right who's a black bear <laughs> all right i heard was making a c8 kit i don't know have any have you thought about any c8 stuff yet i know there's a big hype around the c8 stuff it's uh we're gonna really need to see one because the uh the way the dry sump system is is right there in the front where the pulley system would normally be so we have to relocate the dry sump system and the, uh, the body and the window all kind of you know, seems like a lot of people are going to run into issues with the location of the engine and stuff like that yeah, turboing would be a lot easier obviously uh packaging wise so mm -hmm. you know we think we can do it with a you know pretty trick dry system but i gotta get one person to got it the well, you don't have one here in the back i mean you've got top secret yeah. stuff here all the time <laughs> all right moving on let's do it all right, let's check it out. Later, guys. Thank you very much. This is insane right over here. This this thing, this piece of machinery is gigantic. It's yeah. like uh, as big as my uh, master bedroom. So uh, this is... Obviously, everybody's left already on the uh, on the early shift. Uh, so right now we're in between. Yep. But this is obviously where the rotor goes right in between here. 
And, yep. Uh, so the rotors are cut right here on this machine. Yep. This right here, all in house. Again, True all the rotors for the 2.3 liter, right? Um, the 3.4. Uh, we got the uh, 2.9 liter. You've got the uh, what else? We got the uh, four and a half liter. Three, four and a half liter to yep. four liter. We have a, a Gen 5 three liter. Check this out. These are rotors that are freshly cut. Um, and again, they get uh, they get checked afterwards in that other room, make sure everything looks good, and uh, and then they get sent off for uh, for coating. Yep, right, exactly. Got it. These are production ones. These are prototype ones. As we said, we all, we're always developing new things, and so the prototype ones are cut slightly different than the production to uh, continue testing and uh, making a little more power. Beautiful. These things are gorgeous, man. That's like a work of art right there. Yeah, they come right out of the machine just like this. So so awesome. All right, where are we going? Go to the, we'll go to the next machine shop? Sure. Let's do it. As you can see, they got a pretty big facility here, and it's grown quite a bit since the first time I've been here. Just lots yeah. of additions and stuff to the buildings have been done. Yeah, we got five acres here, so we got plenty of room to continue to grow. Five acres. All right. Uh, machine after machine after machine making parts for their supercharger kits. Prototype part that we're making right here. It's got one off already done. We're on the second off now, so just getting set up to run it. Is that gonna be like a manifold or? That's something? actually a lid for the uh, for our new upside down kit. Okay. Look at that. All right here. Moving on. Okay, we're gonna kind of. I'm gonna block this out over here. <laughs> block it. So where are we now? We're in the uh, like a, a, a R and D. <laughs> like an R and D room over here. I cannot turn the camera the other way. Secret special stuff going on, but here's a uh, Gen 5 uh, supercharger kit. Um, this is where they, uh, they do a lot of, like when they're testing the, the vehicles and you know uh, putting their kits together on a car or truck, they bring them in here. Um, they've also got a dyno out here to the left. We're not gonna look over there, okay? Not gonna look over there. Uh, next, after that, so yeah, dyno testing after that. Um, we got Igor over there. I'm not gonna show Igor. Can't show you, buddy. Sorry, man, I gotta block you out. Pan to the left, I'm sorry, I can't pan to the left. Can't do it, under contract. Um, hey, Bondo Bird, right there, Josh, right? You guys check this out. Um, this is uh, one of uh, Whipple's uh, machinists right here. You guys definitely gotta follow him on Instagram. His name is Josh, and his Instagram name is Bondo Bird. Bondo Bird, yeah. Bondo Bird. And he actually does post some pretty cool content of the stuff that he's making here at Whipple. Um, does a lot of awesome machine work, so definitely check it out. I mean, it's all the, the plenums and stuff, I mean, it's it's mesmerizing. Oh, yeah. Watching you take a piece of part. aluminum and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> whittle it into, like, artwork. So there he is, Bondo Bird on Instagram. Definitely check him out, all right? All right, so check it out. We're going to another one of the buildings here. You've seen a bunch of the uh, production stuff where the rotors are made and checked, where the pulleys are made, plenums and stuff like that. Pretty much any machine part made in those buildings. All right, so check this out here. Um, this is pretty much what, like the... Um, this is uh, their uh, kit assembly and parts and shipping. Over here. Parts and shipping. And look at the size of this place, guys. Just to give you an idea, check this out. So from one side, it's just racks and racks of parts that go all the way down one after another parts being pulled for assembly and then being boxed up and uh, shipped take a look at this a cool uh what's this over here uh, that's the new uh, what's this over here the, uh, what, what's this for the uh, four six cobra four six cobra we're still making stuff for the o3 cobra guys huh sure. terminator guys yeah. Check this out, by the way. This is probably one of the first times they've seen this. Yep. So um, everyone knows that the Gen 4 is out. Alan Garrett, um, Brian Crane. You got a bunch of guys out there. Um, Jeff Smith just out there beating on these cars. Uh, Alan Garrett went, our buddy up in Alaska, went 9 O's in a six-speed uh, car up in Alaska, man. Killing it. So close to that eight. We know he's going to get it. Um, so they are still, though, continuing to improve their product. There is a new blower that will be out eventually. This will be the plenum for it. Look at the size of this thing over here. Just 
I mean, yeah, that's a, that's easily a double yeah. fister. Yeah, easily. Double. Easily. 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 Probably, yeah. Could be triple. Triple. Yeah, I don't know. Triple. I mean, yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I might be able to fit small. another one there. Yeah, I do. I get small yeah. hand. Yeah. So that is, a, that is a massive plenum. Look at the size of that, guys. And that is to flow some major air. No inlet restriction. Make some power. Um, it looks like you've got a uh, big throttle body opening on there, too. Yep. Or a 150 or a 132 millimeter robo throttle body. Wait, what? Wait, 150 millimeter throttle body yep. and a 132 millimeter yep. throttle body. Mechanical because these are obviously mechanical. Damn! Cobra market, watch out, guys. It's coming. Gen 5. Huge inlet, 132 millimeter, 150 millimeter throttle body. You've seen it here. Live. Tech Run. tip. Tuesdays, Lethal Performance, Whipple Superchargers. All right. Uh, these are, again, assembly area. Yeah, these are a couple of marine kits getting assembled here. Yep. Not only do they do automotive, marine. Is that, did you guys start out in marine or? No, no, uh, marine was later on. Maybe okay. Automotive first and then marine. Check this out. Look at this setup here so with the injectors. Two, they're two four and a half liters. Got the, uh, these are run a, a throttle body that we make with two. 110 millimeter blades. Beautiful. Massive. Yeah. That is so cool. Nice. And again, there, there's basically everything gets assembled here to order. I mean, there's there's been times you got to stack up as much inventory as you can. It seems like yeah. they just sell too fast. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's actually, it's, getting, you know, the, it, it's always varying in quantities, and so it's hard to keep the inventory up and then down and up and then down. So yeah. it's a. Uh, all right. chasing it. We got a question here. Why do belts always break on Gen 3 Whipples for SY50? I ran a, a, a Gen, th well, I, don't, I probably had a Gen 2 on our 15, but it's the same same thing. Yeah. The, so it's a, the, actually, the only, the only difference between a Gen 2 and a Gen 3 were the rotor profile. I've run uh, the that on our 15 uh, GT. Yeah. Never broke a belt ever. Yeah, if you, and if you over spin the compressor and you're running very small diameter pulleys with an overly long belt, uh -huh. the tensure is going to max out during hard shifts. And when that does, you get a whip motion and that'll snap a belt. So Got you need, it. That, at that point, you need to run a shorter belt. Okay. So that's why we made the alternator kit and everything so you can get the shorter belt and then you have So no running problem. the big boost setups, you would definitely recommend the alternator kit to have a, a lower, you know, less a shorter belt. belt. Yeah, yeah, a shorter exactly. belt. Yeah, because I less, mean, less. Less length, less stretch. Yep. So that really helps with the high horsepower. Whipple, though, is the leader in superchargers. All right. All right. They are the twin screw experts. Um, what also is your, your motto again? Is it your twin screw? Uh, yeah, twin screw experts. You know, twin we're, screw we're the, experts. We're the original manufacturers, the original ones that brought this to the, to the U.S. So, we, yep. you know, in 1987 we started. And uh, we've been building these kits longer than almost anybody else on the market. Uh, Vortec is the only one that really has been around longer than us. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, maybe it's, it, it's hard to compete with all that knowledge that we've gained. And we're, we actually manufacture the parts. So, you know, we're, Made always, here. we're always developing. Fresno. You know, with uh, anybody else that's using Eaton rotor packs, they're always stuck to whatever Eaton's design. Exactly. Or whatever. You know. So these guys actually, Dustin can, you know, hey, build a, a whatever size they want. Hey, let's design this size. The, you know this bigger specific for this car because it needs more air than let's say the with this compressor where other you know uh, Manufacturers may be stuck just using it off the shelf like only specific sizes that are made and rely on that company to finally produce another larger size to for different applications exactly so yeah, the, the VMP the Edelbrox they're all good products in the end but uh, you know I always feel that we we can do a better job because we can we can cater it to the exact market that we're going to versus using an existing rotor group that everybody has to use it's good stuff. It's very professional of Dustin right there. Let's move along here, yeah. Assembly area or packaging area? The packaging area. So these are uh, kits. So the kits get pulled while the blowers are getting assembled. So everything is typically built to order. So, you know, there's always little small modifications to different kits. Uh, obviously, we do the same, you know, cookie cutter style kits where everything's the same, but then we also do custom colors. Yeah. So each one of these kits is obviously a sold kit that we're uh, getting ready to, uh, to ship. You know, and people don't realize it like, you know, we... We sell like fuel systems and stuff, and there's a checklist of maybe oh, yeah. you know, like 30 <laughs> parts or whatever, yeah. and, and the fuel hat. Just look at look at the, what goes into a kit. You know what I mean? Every single kit has uh, like a million parts to it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of parts. See all the hoses are pre-cut, pre-sheathed, uh, with the clamps all built into all them. All labeled. So customers don't have to do any cutting or 
any modifying or hopefully they don't need to. Yep. Everything is all pulled here, put on the cart, ready to go for each order. A lot goes into one kit. It is not just a supercharger. I mean, you're talking about what I showed you inside, what it takes to make this thing, you know, a casting for the housing, uh, you know, casting for the inlet. You've got the rotors inside that are machined. You've got the um, the actual shafts for the rotors, the gears, everything, uh, bypass, yeah. the bolts, the nuts, the gaskets, everything. That's just for the actual head unit itself. And then you have every other part involved in a kit. So a lot goes into it. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, little walk around tour of Whipple Superchargers. Now, which is this? This is an intercooler for a Mustang. For a uh, uh, Gen, uh, Gen 5 3 liter. That is the, the upside down version used on the 2018 and up Mustang, which it started out as. And then they went backwards, which are now available 11 to 17 Mustang GT, as well as GT350. And that is the intercooler setup that goes above the rotors. The rotors spin, push it up, air goes through it, air goes back down. Yep. Right? Yep, goes through the bottom here, goes through, goes through the thicker core first, and then it makes its turn and goes through the next two cores. Um, anything else you want to show us uh, back over here? Show There's a the nice... Floor for my car. Yeah. What car? Which car? It's for the 18. Oh, is it? Wait, the, you're we're just... Tired, you're we're tired of the orange. We're going back, Got going it. back to our, our so color. So. This is uh, Dustin, uh, his kit that's going on, his personal car, actually the one that uh, I showed you guys outside when I first started the video. Look at the color on that thing, man. That is beautiful. So, working with Bear, did some matching brakes, and uh, we're gonna rewrap the car and then have a bunch of accent colors with this uh, same red. Awesome, yeah, it looks great. Uh, give him a peek over here, show him. Just all this stuff, this tons is, of stuff. This is the expansion area, obviously, where we're expanding here. Expanding. We can uh, show the 6.2 6 here, the new 6.2. We got a new 6.2? Is this the, uh, the the kit you guys just put together for it? So this is kind of an offshoot of the original 6.2 kit uh, from the Raptors and from the F-150s. Mm -hmm. um, they kept this motor in the F-250s and F-350s, so this is that version now. So the air filter got moved to the other side from the factory. So you changed the... the... Oh, okay, so the, they moved it, it. Yeah, it used to be over here. Got it. Now it's, now it's over there. So we made a new inlet, essentially the same kit, except for heat exchanger. It's yep. different. So it's nice for a lot of the trucks that don't have the diesel engines. The yep, all the, the gas. Go. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of guys out there that don't have the diesel and stuff. Yeah. Um, 6.2 is a great motor. So, and you will have uh, 50 state uh, legal, yeah, already, already uh, cal legal calibration. Already 50 legal. state yeah. legal calibration, bolt the uh, supercharger kit on, and are using, what's this, a 2.9? Yes, it's a 2.9 Gen 4. 2.9 Gen 4 supercharger. Uh, uh, so, uh, listen, guys, before I, um, my phone dies here, and uh, we don't get to say our goodbye, we are transmitting live at Whipple Superchargers in Fresno, California. Myself, Lethal Jared, my good friend Dustin Whipple. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour and we'll do our best to bring you some more content in the next couple days that I'm here. All right? So thank you guys for watching. Thank you all also for your business and stuff. We really appreciate it. And thank you, Dustin, for uh, taking us around, yeah, showing us the, the place. All these years. Oh, yeah, man. 2005 till uh, 19 so we're gonna be 15 years yeah, old yeah. in january lethal will be 15 years old so we're gonna celebrate all right